We don't need a Reddit link. We've got the real thing. So the rumors were true, and it's official. We finally have a brand new color film stock. Harmon has done something here that's truly inspiring in a time where being a film photographer has possibly felt more bleak than ever. Not because it isn't still amazing and fun, but because we all know it can be a little expensive. Unlike so many other options available in the market, Harmon has created something totally original and made in-house, and they branded it Harmon Phoenix 200. Yeah, you heard that correctly. This is not just another Kodak Vision 3 respool and rebrand. This is an original recipe that they're going to be working and improving on all the time. What that recipe is, I don't really know. I'm not a chemist. But it's incredible to see them push beyond what Harmon and Ilford are credibly known for. And with the leaks of possible Kodak prices increasing once again, this alternative product couldn't have come at a better time. A literal phoenix rising from the ashes of the cash we used to have in our wallets. On December 1st, 2023, Harmon paired with The Darkroom hosted an event to release and celebrate this new product down in San Clemente, California. And we're gonna go there right now. I was lucky enough to be one of the first people to acquire a roll of Harmon Phoenix from my local camera shop, Tuttle Cameras in Long Beach. And I thought, what better way to celebrate the release of this exciting new film stock than at the reveal event? Now since this is a 200 speed film, and if you look at reports of early test shots, maybe even a 160-100 speed ISO film, I know a dark bar after sundown wasn't going to be the optimal shooting location because I'm really not sure what to expect with its grain level and actual latitude, even if I did have a flash. So I decided to head down to the event area early and shoot some of beautiful San Clemente while the sun was still up and dropping into golden hour. I originally was gonna bring my Canonette, but opted to use my pride and joy, the Nikon F2. Now just to be clear, Harmon is not really Ilford, or Ilford isn't really Harmon. They're all under the same umbrella, so to say. But this color stock is something all Harmon, that the masterminds over in the UK have created on their own, in-house. And I'm excited to possibly have something new to shoot in my rotation. When loading this film, the biggest difference I noticed was the color of the actual film material. It was almost auburn or orange, very different than the dark brown I'm used to loading, which is usually more accustomed to older color positive films. Unfortunately and fortunately, film is not instantaneous, so the developed results from this roll won't be here for another few days, which I'll touch on why a little later. So make sure to come back for part two, where we're going to dissect and look through the color temperature and overall vibe that this new film stock provides. After spending some time wandering the downtown beach area and getting stalked for over an hour by King Jonathan, he knows I'm kidding. I made my way over to the Lost Winds Brewery where they were hosting the release event that night. I brought some Delta 3200 to shoot indoors, but again, we'll have to wait for part two to see how those shots turned out, if at all. A point and shoot was probably the move for that night, but I really wanted to have my F2 with me when I did the walk earlier that day. And I'm really trying to be better about being that guy that brings way too many cameras and doesn't use half of them. The night, however, was a blast. Got to meet so many amazing creators that I respect and had the pleasure of befriending so many like-minded fellows and fellettes with the same celluloid addiction. Not to mention the amount of amazing cameras all dangled gracefully around everyone's necks. Major like a FOMO for real. Harmon raffled off some film and everyone drank way too much. Back to why I don't have my pictures developed quite yet, it was recommended to us that during this limited edition wave of Harmon's batch, to develop with a lab that's outfitted with the correct provisions to scan the look of the film correctly. So if you order from Tuttle Cameras or Harmon themselves, make sure you check to see if you have access to a lab that's been briefed on handling this film correctly, which can easily be sent to them and downloaded from the Harmon website. Or a safe bet would be to mail your film to thedarkroom.com like I'm sure so many of you already do, or just scan them at home yourself. You don't have to show off. This, for now, is an experimental film, but hopefully someday soon, it'll grow up to be one of the top dogs on the market. I want to thank the people at Harmon and the Darkroom for putting on such a fun event and providing a new gust of wind into the sails of our drifting boats. Um, woo! Have about? To see a company invest in our future as film shooters, Encouraging a longevity to this art form is incredibly exciting, and I congratulate the masters of black and white on this landmark step in film photography history. I'd also like to thank Eric at Tuttle Cameras for providing me with this early roll to shoot, and I'm excited to pick up more from this limited first run of Phoenix. 
Thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you again in part two. Because I know you don't want to miss Saturday's photo walk.